from the reenactment of an historical ceremony to a place where history is always being repeated. Here, at a famous North London firm of geographers, 60,000 globes of the world are made every year. How the real world began has always been a fascinating study, but there's a set method of world making at these workshops, a complicated craft dating back to 1492 when the first known globe was... Middle of March is a very nerdy time here in Salt Lake City, Utah. EdTech specialists and educators from around the state are converging upon the campus of the University of Utah for the USET conference. Also, thousands of comic book fans and costume geeks are invading Salt Lake, the Salt Palace for the Salt Lake Fan X Comic Con event. And as our viewers already know, Utah is a generally nerdy and hipster place to begin with. For more on recent events in the Salt Lake City Fanex Comic Con, we have here in studio everyone's favorite Cape Crusader, the Batman. Thanks, Danny. I mean, Tina. I'm really excited to be. <coughs> the adversity here is terrible. Oh, I'm so excited to be here and to be able to go to the Comic Con, and I'm all geared up just like the real Batman with the best tools. First, I've got my walkie talkie for keeping in touch with all of my favorite Justice League friends. I've got my flip camera for videotaping myself when I meet all of my heroes. I've got my still picture camera for taking those great shots. And, you know, when I'm waiting in line, I've got my iPod to listen to, and I've got my Palm Pilot with my calendar and all my contacts on it so I can keep track of all the great events. And when the whole thing's over, I've got my cell phone so I can call my mom for a ride home. That's, that's really cool, Batman, but you know that you can do all of this on one device now, right? What? Yeah, one you device? can, there's a, you can use a smartphone. Dude. It, it has apps. You should go. It does everything? It does everything. All, oh, all of that. You should this go. This is so much fun. Go figure that out. I can't wait to put We're this on other my stuff. belt. It's the second day of USET, so attendees are already furiously looking at their schedules to decide which sessions they're going to blow off at the end of the conference. Prize winners who have stuck around till the end have already tweeted their thank yous in advance using the USET17 hashtag. Let's chat with Justin about what prizes are looking like this year. Hey. Hi, Justin. So prizes are going to be awesome as always here at USET. We've got things like Apple Watches in the past, Chromebooks, iPads, gift cards to anything you could possibly imagine. It's great. That's awesome. How do we get these prizes? Well, first thing you're going to want to get on the Twitter. You're going to, want to tweet all day long using that hashtag USET17. It's going to be the best way for us to find you, see you out there, and catch you at the conference. We're also going to be having a Kahoot game right at the end of the conference, so make sure you stick around for that as well. And I think the most important thing, when do we get these prizes and do we have to be there to win the prizes? Super important. Make sure you stay to the end. That's where all the prizes are going to be given out, and that's where we're going to have the most fun. So stick around at the end, and we hope to see you there. All right. Thanks, Justin. Thanks. We now go live to the Starship Enterprise to talk with Commander Riker and Chief Engineering Officer Number Two from Episode 32, Unnatural Selection. Thank you, Danny. I mean, Tina. It's quite a pleasure to be here in this 21st century environment with you, Miss Faye. I do want to point out, however, it's Unnatural Selection was Episode 33, not 32. That was contagion. okay. 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 Let's get to the real reason that we're here. There's been a lot of talk in the news about Star Wars and the new films like Rogue One and a whole new trilogy. Unfortunately, these new Star Wars films have overshadowed the fact that this past year was the 50th anniversary of Star Trek. I wonder why that is that people get so excited about Star Wars and yet there are hundreds and hundreds more hours of Star Trek entertainment out there in the multiverse. Well, I think that I might have the right answer. Star Trek is completely oversaturated, and Star Wars is therefore in higher demand. Also, I think it's because Star Wars is way more simple and easier to follow and understand. Plus, it has more space battles and explosions. Star Trek is more for the highbrow sci-fi fan, the intellectual scientist type. There's no question that Star Trek fans are way smarter than Star Wars fans. However, Star Wars fans seem to think that they're a lot cooler than Star Trek fans. It all depends. If you live in your parents' basement, there probably isn't a very broad spectrum of coolness. Hi, Mom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
The only reason I live in my parents' basement is because I bought their house. Um, so, Commander Riker, there's something I have to tell you. Secretly, I'm a Star Wars fan. And I've been looking for the best way to tell you, but darn it to heck, Rogue One was one of the most awesome movies. And that K2SO, I mean, this was just like the best character ever. Oh, I can't. Oh. Wow, that was really boring. Let's talk about something that actually matters. How to get USBE credit for attending the conference. So then you're not asking your friends on the USEP board for credit from last year's conference two months before this year's conference. Not mentioning any names here. It's easy to get credit for attending both days of USET. There's SUU credit available for $21, or for no charge, you can get USBE credit. All you need to do is go to the USET website, click on Conference, Attendees, and finally, go to Conference Credit. Or you can go to the shortened URL, bit.ly slash USET17 credit. It's time for a special editorial from EdTech Pioneer and Spanish Immersion Specialist, Dora the Explorer. Hola, I'm Dora. Hi, Dora. Hola. I'm so excited to be back in the schools so I can see all the technology that is being used. I can't wait to see how the teachers are going to use what they learned at USET and bring it back into the classroom. That's awesome, Dora. What are you going to put in your backpack? Oh, all kinds of things. Google tools from Alice Keeler, the new things from Apple, Canvas tips and tricks, uh, UEN tools like culture grams. Those are all great examples of digital teaching and learning. A special thanks to the Utah Legislature for passing the Digital Teaching and Learning Bill. And thank you to all the districts and schools that applied for grants. Muchas gracias. Adios. Adios, Dora. Thank you. This smartphone is amazing. It has so much power. And you know, Tina, with great power comes great responsibility. That's Spider-Man. Well, did you know this has Snapchat? This is a cool thing. And now that I don't have all these tools on, I can't wait to send Robin a picture of my bell. No, 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 no. You need some digital citizenship. Speaking of digital citizenship and acceptable use, this entire skit falls into the acceptable use rules of copyright, since it's a parody or satire of copyrighted images and property. Except for me, because it's not me that looks like Tina Fey. It's Tina Fey that looks like me, Danny K. Sloan. Digital citizenship is becoming an important part of what we teach and how we teach it. Nerds will one day rule the world, and that day is now. Well. I guess it's not exactly true. Technology isn't just for nerds or geek like Michael and Cavelli. It's for all of us. Look around you. Sitting next to you aren't just tech specialists. There are classroom teachers, administrators, professors, students, educators from all walks of life. It's time we put all of the things that we've learned from this year's conference into our own backpacks and ask ourselves, are you set for success? Ladies and gentlemen, live from the University of Utah, it's you set day two. Yeah.